Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Grease Trap. Sadly, this is a limited time gun. You can only get it from April 23rd, 2020 to June 4th, 2020. It is part of the Revenge of the Cartels event. Now, if you guys are watching this at a later date in which the event is over, then don't be sad because I'm sure they'll bring it back in the future. Anyways, to get the gun, go ahead and jump into the Cartels event, and take on Roaster, Tenderizer, or Joey Ultraviolet. Any three of those enemies can drop this gun. So yeah, let's jump into the event and get the gun. Alright, so what you want to do is be at the main menu and activate the Cartels event, so we'll do that now. And let's jump into the game and go to Sanctuary. Once you make it here, go to the Mayhem modifiers and you will find Maurice. Then talk to Maurice and get the Cartels event side mission. From there, head over to any map in the game and start killing enemies that have a neon glow to them. When they die, they will drop a beacon and it will spawn in Cartel enemies. So what you want to do is kill the Cartel enemies and they will drop pieces of intel. After you collect 30 pieces of intel, go back to Sanctuary and jump in a portal behind Maurice. So we made it over, and what you want to do is kill the underbosses or the boss. And the underbosses that drop the Grease Trap are Roaster, Tenderizer, and the boss itself, Joey Ultraviolet. For the underbosses, you can find them at the front door right here. Uh, one at the end of the map right here. One in the middle after you mob this area right here. Uh, one right side after you mob the area right over there. And down below during the boss fight, right down here. I got the drop earlier today from Tenderizer, so I will play that clip right now. Got him. Did we get it? Oh, there it is! Awesome! Yeah, I've been at this for a little bit, but we finally got it. Anyways, we have the Grease Trap. Damage, pretty good. Accuracy, great. Handling, average. Reload time, pretty fast. Fire rate, not bad. And mag size, 14. Red text is extremely flammable. Bonus weapon damage, weapon charge speed, splash damage radius, and 2.9 times weapon zoom. Also, this gun only comes in fire element. Okay, so the weapon is a copy paste of the Super Ball. Yeah. So the weapon doesn't stand out as unique on its own, but hey, I'm pretty sure most of you are here to see what it does. I rarely say this for item guides, but for the weapon's look, I don't like it. It's not unique. So what does it do? Um, it's actually kind of cool. So you have your primary fire for the fire starter, and you can shoot this fiery shot. And also, it's a Malawan with no charge time. And for the secondary fire, you have the Grease Trap, or the Hot Grease. And it's going to shoot out this kind of, like, pattern of Grease. The Hot Grease will do no element damage. You can kind of see where this is going, but if you combine the Hot Grease and the Primary Fire... I'm sorry, Kevin, I need you for an example, but you can see here when you shoot the Hot Grease on the enemy, they will become covered in Grease. And then you swap over to your Primary Fire, the Fire Starter, and you can shoot the enemy and they will explode. Yeah, you can see a fiery explosion spawn around the enemy, and other enemies nearby will actually get hit by it. Alright, so we're on Mayhem 10, and here's the modifiers, and here's the version I have for my flag right here. If I can click the right button, there we go. Um, same one. So let's push forward, find some enemies, and let's grease you up. So you're glowing right now, now we shoot you, you explode, and you can see there we did half the shield with fire damage. On Mayhem 10. Now once we get through the shield, you can see there, yeah, he just kind of died. <laughs> So make sure you stack enough hot grease before you take that shot. Now you have to be fast because it will wear off over time. Alright, shoot. There we go. That was a million damage on that one shot. That's pretty good. Let me see the base damage without actually, you know, stacking the uh, grease. It's not too bad, actually. Alright, stack it up. That's good. Swap away. Four million? So you definitely want to be close range for the hot grease because you can see here when you shoot it, it's pretty inaccurate for longer ranges. I think that the explosion's killing my pet. So grease you up, shoot this, it is. So the explosion does friendly fire damage. Oh no, my poor pet. I was wondering why my pet was going down so much. This weapon is really focused for single mobs and it's not really much of a bossing weapon, but it does have one more cool special I do wanna show you guys. Let's get a boss down to the immunity phase real fast. There we go. And check this out. Now this might be a bug. I'm pretty sure it is a bug. But enemies that are immune, the secondary fire will actually go through. You can see there we're actually doing damage. So even though he's immune, we can still do damage. Now for Mayhem 10, not that useful, but for, you know, early levels, you know, before Mayhem, this could be useful for killing bosses fast. Alright, final thoughts on the Grease Trap. It's not terrible. For Mayhem 10, it is a little bit slow for mobbing. Um, you can only focus on, you know, one enemy at a time. Stacking Grease and swapping over to the Fire Starter is time consuming. Also, enemies are not really near each other often, so when you set off the explosion, it usually only hits the one enemy. Overall, it is a pretty cool weapon, but for me, it doesn't really perform well for many situations. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up and try it for yourself. You might like it, or you might not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, 
then please be sure to leave a like because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out. Fight.